welcome back to my channel so good to have you and thank you so much for tuning in to see how we're going to how i'm going to show you how to make this moringa mask so if you're new to me to my channel please do well to subscribe and when you do don't forget to click the bell that is just right beside the subscribe button so that you will always be the first to be notified anytime i post a new video on this channel so um you guys know that there are various ways to kill a rat and that is what today's video is all about if you check my channel especially when it comes to natural hair care you will discover that i love moringa so i've actually tried to use um like use uh, i've actually use moringa in different ways for my hair which i also have all the videos in my channel and i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box down below so this is another way that you can actually use the moringa max for your hair without having to extract the oil before you use the, the the remnants of the pest so i'm just gonna show you how to do it right away please don't forget that i told you that there are different ways to kill a rat and that is what this particular video is all about okay so to make this max i'm gonna be scooping um like a two this should be like a teaspoonful of my moringa powder a lot of you ask me where you can actually get the moringa powder and most of you are not in nigeria where i'm actually filming from so you could actually check african shop or where they have this um indian spices because the indians also have this moringa powder as well so kindly check those places so for your moringa powder okay and the next thing i'm gonna be using is the my coconut milk you could actually get this in any grocery shop near you so you i'm gonna use the coconut milk you guys know that when it comes to coconut milk the benefits to the hair is actually numerous i mean it's the our hair loves the coconut so this is actually the coconut milk and i'm going to be adding it in no particular order until i achieve the consistency that i want so one thing i have to point out to you is that if your hair is actually very full and long you could actually add more of the moringa paste to it i mean enough for it to go around your beautiful hair okay so I'm just going to mix it the, the the this thing the moringa powder is actually very fluffy yeah it's actually very light okay you can see so before i add another coconut milk i'm going to be adding the extra virgin olive oil the extra virgin olive oil is definitely going to act as a moisturizer and as an oil to my hair because my hair loves uh the extra virgin olive oil so you could actually go for the extra virgin olive oil as well so while you are applying this max on your hair the oil will also keep your hair moisturized that is what i am actually talking about so i'm just for now i'm gonna be adding just two teaspoon of it and mix it first and see the consistency i'm going to achieve before i add another thing okay you could see how thick it is so i'm just going to add my coconut milk again because this coconut milk is another important ingredient for this hair mask okay is actually very thick you can see how thick it is so i'm just gonna add another of the cook i'm just gonna add the coconut milk again 
I told you is in no particular order, okay? So after adding the coconut milk, I'm going to add a quarter cup of warm water, okay? So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of warm water to it. This is actually very essential and important for the hair because if you have a low porosity hair, it's actually going to help open up your hair follicles or hair shaft and will enable the product to sit in. Since heat, I mean direct heat is actually not recommended, especially I mean for any kind of hair, be it the African hair or the non-African hair is actually not recommended so that's why i usually go for the warm water so you actually add warm water once you add warm water to your to your moringa mixture and you're going to apply this so you could see the consistency that you have so you're going to apply this on your hair once you apply this on your hair the next thing you're gonna do is to actually get a plastic bag or your shower cap and tie it so that it could actually generate heat for your hair and once you tie it with a plastic bag i also recommend you actually use your head scarf to tie it for extra heat to generate and i mean you're actually gonna wash this off your hair with a shampoo and your co you can actually use a shampoo or you can use a co-wash to rinse this off but there's something one thing i have to tell is that if you don't want to do this at home you could actually mix it and take it over to your to your stylist to wash it off for you because it's actually very stressful doing it at home but if you don't mind you can do it and also make sure that you're going to be using a lot of water for your uh, you're gonna use a lot of water to rinse out this moringa hair mask okay and um i'm gonna leave the link below of the previous video to show you how my hair actually looked like after using this moringa hair mask so if you have further questions that you need to ask i mean things you think that uh, i didn't mention in this video that you really want to know please kindly let me know in the comment section down below if at this point you find this video informative and beneficial do not forget to click the like button and if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think okay and if you know that uh if you know someone who needs to see this particular video do not forget to share this video with your friends as well okay until another time when i'll come your way my name is either francis go try this out and let me know what you think bye love you